Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sorry, a bit of a rush. Lastminute.com. Um, just not that prepared this morning. But there we are, we're here now. We're here now. Don't forget the workout later this afternoon if you want to join in that workout. Um, that's going to be at 4.30. So you'll be able to sign up for that if you look on the Zwift Companion app. Super low numbers already this week. I'm getting a little bit worried and boring people. <laughs> Either that or I'm killing them off slowly. As a work, either workouts are too hard or too easy. Morning, Martin. I've seen your email. I'll be feeling better. Thanks, Lord. No, I'm not bothering with the Fondo series, guys. It's, it's boring me a little bit, <laughs> the Fondo series. Uh, only because it keeps, you know, it's the same courses all the time. I know they got the longer course now, which I actually voted for. But uh, I can't do it this morning. I can't do it tomorrow either. So, uh, yeah, today we're doing, uh, it's a race on the Watopia Pretzel. So, if you don't know the course, you go up the epic KOM on the radio tower, then you descend, then you do the two little KOMs in Watopia themselves, and then you do the reverse epic without the radio tower, and then you finish in downtown Watopia. So, the plan uh, well, we've got Peter Robertson in here, uh, who did well last week. 
horse rider as well. Back pedal rider. Um, I'm not gonna be. I I, I want to play by play by you how it how the race pans out, but. If anything, I'm using it as a, an opportunity to do two long efforts, uh, not full gas. Um, so in that regard, it's not going to be a race for me until the last 10k. So we'll see where we are in the last 10k. If we still find ourselves in the front group, then the race is on. If we're not in the front group, then... Uh, then we'll just race for what we have left in that last 10k. No, I'm not, I'm not doing four hours tomorrow. <laughs> I've seen the invite. Thanks. Uh, thanks for thinking of me. You've got some bad weather heading your way, have you? We've actually got some favourable weather tomorrow. There's some pretty handy riders in this race, by the way. Um, Andy Nichols, very good climber. I've seen a couple of other names I'm familiar with as well. Our pizza was lovely last weekend. Yeah. That <clears throat> oh, doesn't sound good, Matt. <clears throat>
Yeah, apologies for the training plans. They're all ready, but the website isn't ready. Uh, well, I've said they're all ready. They're not all ready. Um, but I'm just waiting on uh, admin stuff, basically. It's uh, it's harder work than you think trying to do it differently to how it's always been done. It's very easy to follow the same path, but when you're trying to make your own path, it's very difficult. <coughs> yeah, cheers, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Morning, those that have just joined. This part of the course is always like, I notice a few people always get dropped here, where it kicks up and then it levels off and it kicks up again and they don't stay on the power long enough. Right here, you've got to keep the power on. What's that, Tommy? Nah, still full gas, Zach, still full gas. It's like an ongoing process. I'm about to start a training camp as well, of my own, on Tuesday. So it's about to get a lot more intense in terms of time. I said sorry, yeah. No relation. I don't know, I didn't watch, I didn't watch the bikers. I don't really watch a lot of bike racing. <laughs> I dislike watching it. I prefer doing it, unfortunately.
Yeah, I'll still be doing a bit on the turbo because I gotta keep up the WTRR Racing League and uh, on my workout on a Saturday evening. So it'll be a 12 day camp. Uh, yeah, majority of it will be outside. How old am I? 26. Young as hell. Young as hell. I feel about 15. Come on, I guess. Ben Robbins, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's my old school, by the way, guys, Bringwin. Thing coming up now. This next bit. <clears throat> A good excuse, Ben. That's what a lot of people do. Training by osmosis. <laughs>
Who on earth is attacking you? I'll move the mic further away. Looks like Peter's had a drop up though. I don't know. Look like it. No, Stuart, this is me hanging up my backside. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be capable of doing the radio tower at the intensity we've been riding at. I'll be able to ride at the intensity we've been riding at, but I don't think if they go any harder, it's going to be a real test. Personally, I don't want to have to be doing it. I don't want to smoke myself. I'm not going to stuff about 100% trade difficulty.
Right on then. <clears throat> Although you're in a good place here, Ben, to ask questions like that. Like people know in the chat as well. Anyone help out Ben? I want my 50% trade of good. Very bread. No, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go all in. That's way too hard for me. You gotta play it safe. Whenever I enter races, guys, I always rely on people. <clears throat> I'm at the mercy of the intensity that they want to race at. And when I'm fit enough, it doesn't matter. But when I'm not as fit, I've got to really be careful. It's very easy, I know a lot of you would do the same, to go all in every time.
<clears throat> oh, don't worry about the draft, guys. My big ring. It wouldn't go into the big ring. I was out of gears going over the top there. I tried to go in a big ring and I couldn't push it because my hands so sweaty. That's why I need electronic gears. Yeah, you tell them, Lord, because I can't answer questions when I'm full gas. Um, Omar, well, if I was, if this was the World Championships, I would rest for it, but it means F all to me, so why would I rest for it? You don't get performance by, like, bouncing from one race to another. You get performance of training. You know how it works. I have no idea how reliable the VO2 Max is on a Garmin. I don't do it very much. What's the number one topic for today? Nicely put, Lord. Nicely put. Training is definitely more important. And you may be wondering then, why am I doing a race if training is important? Morning, everyone.
responds differently to training. Some people can race and build their way back. They can mix races with training. I'm one of those people because of my training maturity. In other words, the fact that I've been training for so many years, it's like you put any, you put any old seasoned world tour rider, you put him in a lot of races, he can handle it very well. Look at Adam Hansen doing so many grand tours. It's just the way, it, it's just the way it works. And I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm sorry in a way because I was talking to somebody about it the other day. I probably set a bad example by doing as much Zwift events as I do, especially last year, because you know, everyone then goes out and thinks, oh, I can do that as well. Or that must be good for you. Like if Ed's set a new FTP, it must be great for you. But it's, but it's not, <laughs> it's not like, I would much prefer everyone here listening to train more and race less. And the races you do race, you go in there with a fresh mentality to smash and to obliterate anybody that's in front of you. Don't get me wrong, like some riders uh, do well with racing, like a lot and training less. But you lose the specifics of it then you know you lose the the sight of you know what are you actually training for you might still get results but you could potentially get better results um I thought it would split to split to hell going up uh, the radio tower. So it looks like I'm not on an off day. It just looks like everyone was going absolutely full gas up there. Would you agree? Like considering it's like properly like I'm in the top 10 now, but there's like two riders in front of us on their own. It's really split and it. <laughs> Michael, well, it's interesting you ask that, but only the climb potentially is good training. The rest of it is useless. You know, if I was to do this properly, I'd have proper rest in between the two climbs for where I am right now on my fitness journey, rather than doing this faff in between. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, Lord. But no, I don't. But this is this is the truth. Like this is what happens with A level Zwift racing. When it goes hard, it goes, you know, full send. But when it goes easy. You know, you might as well be in a C race. Granted, you know, nothing against C riders. I'm just comparing watts per kilo. Um, the difference occurs when you have to go hard and the repeatability of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This group ain't hanging around either. <laughs> Shots take the scar. Well, what I'm saying is like, you know, it's like, you know, if we did say a whole lot of lava, that course, there'd be a lot of like three watts per kilo stuff going on. But then when you hit the five in the climb, it's like seven to kill. Whereas in a C or D race, it's three watts per kilo mainly the whole way. Or because people don't know how to race and use their energy 
correctly um, or they race very like like two watts per kilo on the flat three watts per kilo but, but can only go to five on the climb so that's the that's the main main difference Philip, only do short blocks of it. If you if you're not used to it, only do short blocks. And we are doing like six watts per kilo. Here. Who on earth is pulling this? going on good move by bag there sprinted across that gap Yeah, but if we stay together, we're like faster. I don't understand why. Yeah, I didn't understand what they were doing there. Like, now that they've all come together, they won't work. I don't, like, physics suggests we're faster as a group. So, It is a fat thought, isn't it? Like, what am I actually doing here? Like, what training is this now? <laughs> I'm setting an example. Just for you.
Come on in, Vag. Close the gap. Well done. Ah, oh, Japanese guy, I've just noticed him now. The Japanese guy actually bridged across to us. I mean, I don't understand if we just... Ride. Nice. Lee. I'm not lucky now that I actually jumped across to this little group because it's, it's, uh, they sat up behind. Yeah, work! Ah, this is better now, this is better. Blue and green. I'm not contributing. Get out of here, Thomas. I'm not contributing. They're the ones pulling like for being crazy. In the real world, if I was in a break like this and they were pulling at six volts per kilo, I'd be like, carry on, you do that. You should be in a six you should have been doing six volts per kilo. The radio tower would be that strong. Otherwise, I'm not working with you. Pull, pull easier and I'll help. Pull harder, I won't. Simple. That's how it works out doors. You get nowhere, guys, by slogging your guts out. 
teamwork is everything. It's even harder when there's only four of us because it's actually hard to sit on, but. Never take wind on the front. Unless you absolutely need to. If you need to close a gap, if you need to attack. But if you can ever get away with just sitting on, then do it. Yeah, but Dr. Hill, you know. I'm not as fit as I was, so, you know, fair enough if they don't know that, but that's my uh, legitimate excuse, so. <laughs> yeah, slightly accent gets real strong. <laughs> Morning, Nils. How are you, sir? How are you? You'd be proud of me, Nils. I just typed something to the group. It wasn't work, though. That's right, Jacob, yeah. Thank you. Not a bad effort, that was it. Yes, Michael. Indeed. And it's why they never win their home race. The Tour of Japan. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's the case. <laughs> I'm just made that up. I don't know, anyone do any hunting on Zwift Power? See where that, that front six are? Is that the front? Yeah. The front six must be together then. They're only 4, 35 seconds ahead. And they're splitting up as well. That's not bad. Second group for me. I'm happy with that. If I was in a front group, it wouldn't be very exciting. Go get it, buddy. Go get it, Charlie. The only benefit that we have at the minute is that the front group are hopefully not working together very well. And we have a Japanese rider here who's pulling like five, six watts per kilo <coughs> constantly. Oh, is that St. Kilda kit? Looks nice. Looks nice. Looks like the Isle of Man kit, actually. Thank you, Jacob. I do wonder though why he's leaving the gap though.
See, I'm very nice when I talk to people. Try not to leave a gap, please. If he says, well, you better work, then he should have been listening to my rant five minutes ago. Why didn't it type? What an absolute amateur. Like, I'm not asking him to pull, I'm just asking him to stop leaving a gap. Is it that hard to ask? He's leaving the gap because he wants me to do a turn. I've told you why I'm not doing a turn. Because they pulled in like five to six watts per kilo. Oh, well, I can't pull five to six watts per kilo and get them all set on my train. You're right though, they probably are worried. I get so annoyed at like, and like, you have to remember that most people on Zwift probably don't know how to race. I'm not saying VAG doesn't know how to race. I'm just saying, in certain situations, you need to use your noodle. All right, going full gas does not get you anywhere. Funny thing is, he'll probably drop me on the on the KOM. So, hence why I need to sit on. <laughs> you see, we're catching up with the front group, and I've done no work or twelve. Now, call it what you want. That's savvy bike racing. When other people want to pull, and they're perfectly happy to, like the two riders who are on the front now, let them get on with it. Are we doing the KOM now? No.
I don't know, Mr. Brown. I don't know. I don't know if you notice, but I'm not like attacking the climb and leaving them behind. <sighs> Tom. They don't need to push harder. They're obviously strong enough. They've got a climb coming. Hey Chris, how you doing? This course, Josh. <laughs> oh. oh, nice, Chris, nice. I was rich on Parkers mine.
Oh, nice, Chris. Nice. I feel a climb coming on. <clears throat> no idea, Michael. No idea. It's not a problem, though. I know I've had people message me saying, oh, it's a bit worrying. And, uh, of course, I'm not bothered because <laughs> I'm getting a worker in. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me if you get in or not. I'm getting in. I'm getting it done. I'm getting it done. Oh, they are so amazing. Oh. We're watching, uh, what was it, Hip Hop Evolution on Netflix at the minute. If you're interested in music, specifically that genre, uh, very good. Very good. Whoa, is the gap 25 seconds? No. Jeez. <clears throat> And the reason why we change it from back pedal is because we might end up filling the hundred spots of invites with people who don't actually want to come but it's left over from the Christmas period. So this is a bit more specific. easy on Phil tomorrow everyone, I don't want him pushing crazy numbers, I want you to look after him.
if you can get Phil to ride less than 2.5 guys, I'd be much appreciated. <laughs> I won't be there. I won't be here either later, so. I need you all to look after him. Please. Oh, good point, Grim, yeah. They're not out yet, Mike. Sorry. They're not ready. I'm still working hard.
need to fix a fan situation in here because my hands are just dripping with sweat and it's not very comfortable. Slide off the bars. Yeah, I am indeed working lower threshold. <coughs> you may think I'm not working because I got dropped, but ride it in now. The chat is open if you want to talk. And just ride it in. Thank you, Lord. I know you've posted that a million times already. I appreciate it. I don't know why people just don't go on the companion app and look for it. I've got to be honest, because I have to do that. <laughs> it doesn't get sent to me. I have to go and look for it. Oh, there's no way I'm getting across orange. No, I haven't got the legs. <coughs> I'm already riding at threshold there. I uh, I can't ride harder than threshold. <laughs> Gotta save some matches for later as well. Yeah, agreed, Steph, agreed. Because on Wednesday, when I'm like looking for it to like post the link out, I've got to go through like four days worth of event. I did think I'd be automatically added to the event, like when Zwift set it up. But no, it turns out I'm not. So that's something that they could probably do to make it a heck of a lot easier for me. Nearly at the top. Nearly at the top. Yes, we are indeed, Stuart. We are aging closer to 10,000. <laughs> yeah, 
It's a shame, really, that the subscriber count allows us to do more. It's like, what does 10,000 actually mean? Getting a bit deep for a Saturday morning, but... I'm uh, gearing myself up. That 10k will come. I would hope in the next month, and we're going to be doing a mass, <laughs> a mass start. We're going to be doing an event. Alp, uh, Alp de Zwift. I'll do it on a Saturday. I'm going to climb 10,000 meters of elevation in that ride. So if you want to join, you can indeed. No, <laughs> no, Paul. I, uh, I, I don't, I don't know where that comes from. But people say you should, you deserve more subs. I don't know where that comes from. Because lots of people don't sub. You can see that in your analytics. You know, lots of people watch and they don't sub. A lot of people watch and they don't like. I'm the same. Like I watch some YouTube videos and I don't like them. Like I forget to like them, or you know, because I'm watching them on like the TV rather than on my phone. Um, you know, I don't press the like button. You know, likewise, I don't press the subscribe button. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, like, but the subscribe account is a weird one, isn't it? Like, it's the same on Instagram and everywhere else. What does it actually mean? Like, I know it allows you to do certain things, but, um, yeah, I, do, I don't know, like, I don't know whether, uh, like how much, how much you've noticed, but in the last year, so it's it took me like four years, three years, something like that, to get to five thousand subscribers, or well, to get to four thousand really, because one thousand came really quick in the space of a month when I did uh, that Alp to Swift live stream. So I got a thousand really quickly. So I got to five thousand like last April, and in less than a year, I've doubled. So that probably has a lot to do with Zwift, but I'd like to think that it has more to do with me, like not my races per se, or the performances. I'd like to think it's uh, me just you know doing live streams and you're able to chat to me or chat to the people you want to in the chat Remember when you were teasing vegan cyclists about doing YouTube stunts for riding the two hundred and sixty kilometers in a row? What do you mean? Yes, Michael, I will be. We've got an event on RGT in uh, first week of March. If you join the Discord channel, um, there's a. There's a Discord server. There's a channel on there for said event, which you might be interested in. What YouTube stunts am I doing?
Oh, sorry to hear that, Edmund. That will happen sometimes when you're tempted after a hard shift. I wouldn't say, like, I wouldn't even call. The thing is, like, I wouldn't call the 10,000 climbing thing for 10,000 subs a stunt. I, I'd call that a personal challenge for myself. What you haven't heard of yet is that every month up until July, I'm gonna do a climbing challenge. So tomorrow I'm doing one hour, as many meters as I can climb up and down a climb in one hour. Next month, two hours. Month after three hours. Month after four hours. All the way up until my Everesting attempt in July. Um, that's not a stunt. That's just my training. <laughs> um, so the, the difference is that the 10,000 meter challenge is not a stunt. It's an actual training session. <laughs> like it's a, it's a legitimate thing that will eventually play a part in what I want to do. If it was a stunt, it would have no bearing whatsoever apart from that it wants to get loads of views on YouTube. I don't mind if it has a thousand views or 10,000 views. <laughs> get it? 10,000 views. Um, you know what I mean. When's the race take a place with Charles? <laughs> I have no idea. He'll have to do it soon, otherwise he's going to get a shock when my numbers increase and he's taken my, my post-Covid power numbers. <laughs> What did you think about the video? What did you think about the video? I thought it was good, apart from the five minute and the, or the 20 minute, more importantly. My 20 minute power is one watt per kilo higher than what it, it said on his research because the research had been done recently, not last year. But credit where credit's due. Um, it's quite it's quite fun to see that. Uh, <laughs> Come on, TV. You, you're pretty. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I, I'd like to do both. But while I'm young enough and fit enough, I'd like to create content around my training and racing or performance rather than. Uh, rather than like when I get like over 50 and then I haven't got I haven't got that to draw you in you know <laughs> oh. Get me over. Oh no, I better finish quick. Charlie's just come back from shopping. Oh no, no, 100%, Lord, 100%. I think that's the whole point really. Because my comment, I said on my, one of my comment on the video was, uh, it will be great to have the race, just for something to look forward to. You know, and we haven't got much to look forward to. <laughs> I think Cam commented, saying he wanted a race, but I think he said outdoors, did he? Did he say outdoors? <laughs> oh Scott 
first comment was to say Ed would be doing this all without a camera in his face. That is too true. That is too true. I'd be doing this regardless. Uh. <coughs> Some of those wouldn't cycle 10 miles around a roundabout for no reason. Someone's got to do it first, Scott. You know, 10 miles around a roundabout. I mean, I don't think I'll be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. He said, my video, my rules. It is what it is. It is what it is. I do feel like I'm on a bit of a a breakthrough at the minute in terms of uh, fitness. I do, it's difficult to explain because I've been in this situation before, but when I've lost fitness, it's always hard coming back, obviously. But at the minute, I feel like crap. <laughs> I feel like crap. Um, and this is like... Again, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of normal because there's like a there's like a balance between like you're obviously trying to train to get fitter, but you get tired quicker or tired easier than you did when you were fitter. I don't know if I'm making any sense now. What I'm saying is there's like a breakthrough point, uh, and I'm gonna call that say for example 350 watt FTP. And that breakthrough point allows me to tip the balance into feeling like I can, you know, finish sessions without a problem. You know, mentally I'm going into everything. I'm like, yes, I could do this, I could do this. But there's like this gray area. And the gray area isn't when you're at your least fit, fittest, or when you're not as fit. It's like in between for me. And that's where I am at the minute, I feel. I feel like I'm in this like, little little area that I'm not very comfortable in at all. Um. <coughs> so we'll see. Another couple of weeks, and we'll be out of it. I hope. I've never watched Team America. <laughs> Take cover. <laughs> is that the puppet? Is it the? Is it like Thunderbirds? Like those puppet things? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I take that as the other minute, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, my thumbs are alright, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle the second wheel today, Ant. Um now that I've uh, I've recovered. Oh I'm not a fan of South Park either. South Park is like No. I don't know why. I just don't like like I probably find it funny. But I, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of it. <laughs> yeah, you have to do it on a descent, Mad Gaming. You have to do it on a descent. Okay. Uh, Catherine, uh, sort of. I am sort of using the races training. Um, I'm training again later, so... Um, once I got tailed off on the second KOM, uh, I knocked it on the head. Uh, it's the right thing to do. Um, pushing on at like yellow or red, like threshold and above, is not really going to be the best thing for me to do the session later today and tomorrow's plan as well. So, um, uh, so yeah. I've technically used it as a training session because that's what it turned into when I got dropped. What's my thoughts on Super Tuck being banned by UCI? Um, well, in terms of it setting an example for kids, then um, then well done UCI. Um, in terms of uh, like aerodynamics, like it's fast, but there are descending positions that are almost as fast. Um, I've got to be honest, like every time I've watched like a, a, a race where you've seen like Alaphilippe or Sagan or anybody descending and they're on a twisty descender on the top tube, you're like, you're on the edge of your seat. It's completely different to when they're kind of like sat in the drops and like going around the corners. You're like, when you're watching on the top tube, it's like, oh man, like at least they might know what they're doing, but it's about the kids, isn't it? It's about the kids at the end of the day. Um, like, if, if there's nobody with you, because it's, the di it's, it's dangerous, like, you could hit the portal, you could hit whatever. But that can happen at any time. But it's dangerous when you're in a group of people. The other thing as well, I think they should do, is stop them from leaning their hands on their bars like that. You know, that's just as bad. You know, you, th there should be points of contact at all times. You know, uh, that's what they teach kids, you know, at Go Ride, uh, which is British Cycling's thing. Like, there should be, like, three points of contact, or, well, if you cut your feet as well, but you wouldn't, would you? But your bum and then your hands, like, three points of contact. Um, Yeah, we super tuck down uh, crew minutes. Well, I've seen you do it anyway, almost uh, 80 mile an hour. Oh, sorry, Don. Wasn't was supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> the cycling tattooist. I love this. And let's bring it on. So I can give Charlie a hand with the shopping. Yeah, that's true, that is. Yeah, bullet just rides with his feet. 
He didn't have his hands on the bars, he keeps doing this. We love you, bullet. Yes, that's the other thing as well. Like the descents that they do choose, you know, you. at the end of the day, because I've raced, you know, at that level, not at that level, but I've raced with riders at that level. And sometimes you're on some descents in some races and you're thinking, whose idea was it to bring us down here? Like, we're in the middle of a stage, nothing's happening. Like, whose idea was this? It happens more times as well, you think, like, Super Tuck TV, Com Hunt TV, can you help Super Tuck TV out? You know what you're talking about. <laughs> Jeez, Gunnar, good morning. Nearly there. Yeah, Lolo, we should definitely have that race. Super Turk, you wanna have a look at StreamYard if you wanna do stuff like that. Scott, has he ever had a bike fit? Because they say that most of the time it's not a saddle. If you've tried loads of saddles and you can't get on with any of them, they say it's a bike fit issue, not a saddle issue. <laughs> There's Zachary in there. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing as well. They always tell the kids to have your hands in the drops. Because if you hit anything, you, you, your hand doesn't go anywhere to go. Whereas your hand will slip off the bars at the top. George, third person to ask on this stream. The plans are coming. I did say the 1st of February. I'm sorry. Does the TM mean, Lord? Now, descending on the hoods.
Yeah, I've crashed. I've crashed with my hands on the hood. Well, kind of, I was going down to the, uh, down to the drops and my hands were on the hood. I was coming down to the drops and there was a depression in the road. I came down heavy. Left half of my skin in Canada. Cheese grater on the road. Hey, Sean. No, I do say I didn't copy anything. <laughs> well, I don't know, actually. Maybe I did. <laughs> I was thumbnail for going plant based or vegan for January. And then uh, GCM brought one out literally a couple of hours later. And it was almost exactly the same, <laughs> except I was juggling my peppers. Ah, oh, it was a proper cheese grater. Three k. We get. Looks like we're gonna hold off Weavers, who is one kilometer behind. I hope. Would I ever consider being a GCM presenter? Hell no! No thank you. I'm doing my own thing over here. Thank you for your face, John. <laughs> yeah, they prefer Andrew Feather, yeah. You nasty pasty. Exactly, yeah, there'd be hardly any bike riding going on. Do some bike riding. Is it me or they added more trees around you? On the right hand side. Yeah, make sure you sign up for the workout session this evening. 4.30 in the afternoon, if not, you can watch a live stream. The workout will be posted afterwards. Cheers a lot. Not such a hard one tonight. Lots of threshold though. So I'm in for a difficult day. So it's threshold earlier in this, in this race. And threshold tonight. <laughs> I 
That's true, Michael, yeah. Don't get a chance to notice it. Yeah, I'm pretty chuffed to this top 10. Even though I got spat. <laughs> I got dropped just a little bit. 70 signed up now, we need to triple that at least. We need to triple it. Send it out to all your friends. It's certainly worth it. The session's incredible. I'm not biased in any way, shape or form. I reckon they do, Scott. I reckon they do. Go. Two hours. Two hours. Done. Is it rugby on this afternoon? From the neck, don't they know we're doing for workout or what? Came down whiskey, yes. It's actually not that far away from it. I could ride I could ride to their uh, distillery. Where are you living? To be drinking Pendarin whiskey. Where are you living? Oh, thank you, cycling, cycling tattooist. You really enjoy it. <clears throat> yeah, that's the only problem. The timing of these clashes with the the Zwift um, uh, the Tour de Zwift, so it does clash. It does clash. So. Anyway, let's have a look at the results quickly. Uh, let's see. Uh, surprise, surprise. Andy Nichols won. <laughs> Definitely saw that come in. So that group, is that a Japanese rider there? Was he the rider that was with us? So he obviously got across the front group. How on earth have you got your hands on Pandaren whiskey when you live in the US? That's news to me. Um, yeah, and I came in ninth. Still there, uh, almost four watts per kilo for two hours. And considering a lot of that was um, way over. Agnes, it is on the Zwift Companion app. Sagan got COVID. Interesting. Yeah, so 3.8 and some people might 4.2. But um, I bet I bet they were very polarized in their approach. Uh, let's have a quick shifty at the telegraph. It's not going to say much, but... Uh, oh. Oh, blimey. It's very spiky. Very spiky indeed. So that, this was... It's hard to actually pick out where everything is. This is the KOM. First time up. Here's the descent. This is... The flat bit of road. Here's the small KOMs. Here's another one of the small KOMs. By the looks of it. My heart rate is very much like there's no. That's the problem when, like I said, I'm in this grey area. There's hardly any like it's hard to distinguish between when I'm going really hard and when I'm recovering, because my heart rate just tends to just kind of float about in the middle. So you can obviously see where I went hard on, on the epic the first time up and the bit of the radio tower at the top. But then, you know, my heart rate doesn't really come down. On, I mean, it does on the descent. But then all this period here, it's still kind of high. 
you know, for very little effort. Well, there's lots of spikes, but um, yeah, it doesn't really come down. And that was the uh, that was the second climb. Obviously, a lot more steady because I was on my own. But then I uh, knocked it on the head, so I could ride in with some zone two, which I did. So all good. 125 TSS. You know, still does the job for what I wanted today, or this morning rather, because we got a session later. So that's where I'm going to leave you, and I will see you later. See what Charlie's bought from the supermarket. Thank you for uh, your company. Nice to chat. Those of you that have me on the big screen, thank you. <laughs> yeah, those moments of clarity. Oof. Lovely. Right up. Catch you on the other side, gang. Catch you on the other side. See you for some bike riding later.